Stoke knew they'd make the playoffs with a win, and that's exactly what they got. Only 21 seconds on the clock, and here's a contender for own goal of the day. The unfortunate Keith O'Halloran giving Stoke the lead following Thorne's cross. As Stoke prepare for Walsall in the playoffs, Brynjar Gunnarsson's definitely a man in form. His deflected shot gave him his fourth goal in three matches. It's a good job Swindon's survival had already been secured, because ten minutes later, it was 3-0. Andy Cook's seventh goal for Stoke, his twelfth in total this season. And it was 4-0 before half-time. Adam Willis was charged with wrestling Thorne to the floor. And when referee Trevor Parks found him guilty, Graham Kavanagh passed sentence. Swindon had won the last meeting between the two in the Potteries, their one and only league success at Stoke. And while there was no way back from a 4-0 deficit, they did at least pull one back from the spot after Alan Reeves had been fouled by Mikhail Hansen. O'Halloran made amends for his first minute error, but in the end, Swindon finished just a point above the drop zone. Stoke 4, Swindon 1. Lady Luck smiled on the Britannia Stadium to help Stoke into the playoffs. A dream start with 25 seconds on the clock. Steve Mildenhall may have saved well from Andy Cook, but his good work was quickly undone by the instincts of teammate Keith O'Halloran. More fortune in Stoke's second, 13 minutes in. Brynjar Gunnarsson driving through the Robins' back line. Mildenhall positioned well for the shot, until it caught one of his defenders. But nothing lucky about the Potters' third of the afternoon, a one-man show from Andy Cook, winning an important header before exchanging passes with Good Johnson, and embarking on a run that was brought to a stylish conclusion for his sixth goal of the season. Stokes fourth came from the penalty spot. Peter Thorne felt he was held back as he attempted to convert Graham Kavanagh's ball into the danger area. The referee agreed and Kavanagh's ice-cool finish from 12 yards sparked playoff celebrations at the Britannia, which were undiminished by Swindon's second-half consolation.